U.S. military is still interested in battlefield lasers and other directed energy weapons, from truck-mounted lasers to high-powered microwaves that take down small drones. The Army, Navy, and Air Force are all exploring the possibilities, but congressional leaders say for all that interest, the technology is not getting into the field fast enough. Last decade, the Pentagon explored the possibility of using lasers to shoot down nuclear missiles during their boost phase with the expensive Airborne Laser Project, and is interested in the idea again. Take the Electronics Frying Missile Champ, Counter Electronics High Power Microwave Advanced Missile Project developed by the Air Force Research Laboratory in conjunction with Boeing, and successfully flight tested in 2012. The missile isn't being fielded by any of the services. Neither is Raytheon's smaller ground-based derivative, which took out two small drones by disabling their electronic systems in a 2013 demonstration. The $200 million the Senate bill provides could be used to prototype various directed energy weapons at the Assistant Secretary's discretion. It highlights several specific missions in which directed energy could provide solutions to capability gaps, including fighting off UFs, rockets, artillery, and mortars. We've done a lot of microwave work on the side of being able to send in a cruise missile that knocks out electronics, Heinrich said. That is just as important as the counter UAF mission. Both of them are pretty critical at the moment. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency and other labs are making moves to test directed energy weapons to tackle these solutions. DARPA just announced a competition to demonstrate systems that could take down swarms of drones a kilometer away.